Come here. Yeah, you're mine. Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm down at Redwood Park. I'm actually on Redwood Lake today and I've come down for a little bit of a match practice, try and figure this place out. I did have a practice a few weeks ago, uh, the weather's been cold yet again, we've got frosts. I don't know what's going on with the weather this year, but it needs to sort itself out rapidly. Um, so I've no idea how to approach this really. Last time I came I got a few silvers out, uh, I had one F1 and uh, they weren't really feeding until later in the day and by which point I'd packed up and went home. So I think today I'm gonna to start on the maggot. I'm not gonna fish much further than sort of top two plus three. Um, I've seen a few fish topping. There are a few fish up in the water, so I've got some up in the water rigs and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a few up in the water on pellet later in the day. So I say, I think I'm just gonna fish a general purpose rig strung out uh, into about four or five foot of water, top two plus three, focus on that line with maggot to start with. If we get silvered out basically, then as I say, we'll pop onto the uh, hard pellet. Down the inside, I've got a margin line into about 15 inches of water, and I'm probably just gonna fish a few micro pellets and soft expander over the top of that. I've also got the little method feeder rod, which is set up with a micro pellet feeder at the moment. I can fish maggot or hard banded pellet on that. If the going gets really tough, I can switch that out to bomb and bread. Don't forget guys, if you enjoy the videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Right, let's kick this session off. So because I don't really know how to approach this lake, I'm just going out with one of my general purpose um, commercial style rigs which is a drill and cap one float not 0.4 gram and it's just literally on strung out stocks down the line so we're just going to search through the water with that we can bulk those if needs be uh, make it into a slightly more stable rig but i'm just not going to mess about with too many different rigs today the idea is to get a general feeling for how to fish this place and then we can tailor the rigs to suit from there so we'll just pop a white maggot on So early skimmer on the maggot. Right, well that's just typical isn't it? Just nicely got started, the heavens have opened. I think this is forecast for the rest of the day. Uh, it was absolutely glorious this morning, but just goes to show how changeable the weather is right now. I mean, we're getting frost overnight. You've just, it's impossible to work out how to fish these places at the moment. So maggot for me is the best starting point. And if we can only catch silvers, then so be it. Well, it's hailstone in now. If this keeps up, I'm just going to go on the uh, float rod. Can't see the float now either because of the uh, shimmer on the water. All the light conditions have completely changed to when I set up. I put a yellow tip on. So that's a problem. <laughs> So we've had a few skimmers, I've just started to get this line working, but it is absolutely freezing now. I can't believe I'm back in the winter gear. Uh, I mean, it's May tomorrow. Can you believe it? Certainly a few fish topping though. And the fish themselves aren't too cold. So hopefully, this weather won't put them off too much. There's a fish on straight away there. So 
It's another skimmer. Yeah, these fish are taking it quite well down. I think I'm just going to shallow up an inch. It's a tight peg, this. <laughs> I've got kit literally all around me. So I'm here to learn. I know I can catch on the maggot. I'm just going to try a soft pellet now. Not fed any in yet. I'm contemplating feeding some micros on this line, particularly if there's bream. Skimmers seem willing to feed. Soft pellet may pick out a few better ones. We'll just try it in over the top of the maggots at this moment in time. That was a bite. Put the pellet away. Response seems slow on the pellet. I know we've not really fed any in. I think it's too much of a gamble. I'll just stick to the maggot for the time being. And that's another fish on maggot. They will if it warms up. Oh, there you go. That's you see, dab it then. But they're not. They're not nailing themselves. It's interesting though that they might. They might actually come on to pellet. Be good if they will, because then at least I might have learnt some at match. Instead of sit, sitting on maggots, because it's freezing. That was my only thought on it. Do you know what I mean? I just thought, well, if I fish maggot, I'm not really going to learn anything. Other than it catches everything in the lake. Well, that's all right if sun gets out. I'll be boiling in a minute. I'll have to strip everything off again. <laughs> Typical. There you go. That is not a skimmer. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, I, seriously as well, I'm, I'm really, really torn about what to do, but we'll see. Just one more, eh? Chunky monkey. Lovely F1 shallower on the pellet. Right, well, if they're uh, going to have it on that, we'll stick with that. Yeah, they're all right. Um, just have a look, you know, have a look around. There's loads of different sellers, haven't they? They do them on Amazon as well. But they were the smallest ones at lot then. Because what I considered, I thought, oh, they'll be like five mil. It's gone again. There we go. Boom. Slapping away. No.
Oh, he's woke up. Come here. Yeah, you're mine. <laughs> Another lovely F1. That fish took it, just slapping in, real quick. See if we can get another one. Hi right guys, so I switched on to hard pellet, shallow, took a couple of F1s and then it went a little bit quiet. Tried pellet on the deck and I'm actually catching uh, skimmers. So that's a good line on the uh, top two plus three basically and uh, I've come off the maggot with that now and just fishing hard pellet. So I thought I'll just have a little bit of lunch, try a bit further out and chuck the method feeder out or the pellet feeder and uh, put the same four millimetre pellet on. Got an indication fairly quickly, didn't come to anything and then about two minutes later it ripped round and we got into a little mirror car. So I'm just going to have another sling on the method feeder, see if we can get one more out. And then we'll come back on this short line with the pellet. So it's just a little 15 gram Preston ICM pellet feeder and a 4mm hard banded pellet. Just popping a few mixed micros in there, pushing the pellet in, and then capping it off. Not sticking to any area in particular on this, just casting around really. So probably about 20 metres out. Yeah, that's an indication. Getting a little bit of a liner there. Definitely a few fish out there. Okay, I'm going to come off this. I think it's maybe a little bit slow. There's definitely fish there to be had. I think if you worked at it a little bit, you'd probably get a few more. I want to get back on the pole, try and build this pellet line. Well, it seems to have gone a little bit slow. It's really, really cold now. Can't believe we're nearly into May. So I'm going to go back on the method feeder. We had a few indications. See if we can't tempt a few better carp out. Oh, that's a line, right? and hooked up. Definitely something nosing around this. Right, guys, I think we've literally had four seasons in one day now. This weather is ridiculous, it's absolutely binning down, it's freezing cold, I cannot believe I'm back in my gloves. Um, so I've decided to switch on to bomb and bread. The going's a little bit tough, you know, feeding in, there's fish still topping out there, but it's just such a strange day, I just don't know what to do. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with the classic winter approach since it feels like winter right now. Put the bomb and bread on and see if that'll bring us a cap. Not the easiest thing to do, casting under a brolly. That's it, it's gone round. On the bread. Cracking bait. There's a good fish this as well. Small cap. Ooh, banging around. Oh, 
Oh, F1. <laughs> Hulk's pulled right at the net, can you believe it? I'm in the tree. He was gasping on the top there, I could have just about scooped him and he shot off. Now I've got to get out of the tree. Oh, we're out, lucky. Let's try that again. I think it's definitely one of those days where they don't want a lot of feed. There's a few fish willing to have a, have a go, but you can't overfeed them. Just sit back, fish for a fish at a time. Keep my hands warm. See if we can't get a few carp this way. Oh, well, the bomb and bread don't seem to be producing anything else. So, I'm going to come inside. I've seen a few fish swirling. Certainly off to the left hand side by the tree. But I've been feeding hard pellet on that top two plus three line all the time. So hopefully we'll snare a carp shallow. Fish on, gone down on the deck, fishing the hard pellet. Feels like an F1. Small mirror carp. Fighting well. Let's see if we can get him. Yes. lovely little mirror so it seems that despite the cold weather the hard pellet is working quite well 
we've had a few fish shallow it's a shame this uh, rain I think is probably not the shallow fishing on the head but we'll just keep going with the uh, hard pellet on the deck for the time being feeding in with the pot occasionally keep catapulting over the top as well Gone again, but well, this is a small fish. Went quite quickly that one. Another small skimmer. Another fish on. Again, it doesn't really feel like a carp. It's tugging quite well. Could be a better bream. Still gorging the bit. Just getting a few fast bites now. Not sure what these are, they could be F1s. Just biting a little bit rapid. Seeing a few more fish on top. That's gone again. This is starting to go fairly instantly on the way down. Just lowering the rig in at the moment. Just trying to work out what's going on with this peg. That's gone. That's a decent fish. Thankfully that rain's eased off. We've seen the net and he's going. He's 
not a happy F1. There must be 14 foot of elastic out there and I've got some on the pull. these things is just incredible. <laughs> Let's see if we can net him. We might have to get another one on the puller. Not giving up. Come on. <laughs> Ridiculous. Not even that big. Oh, I get to him. Finally. I honestly don't know where these fish find their energy from. They are just all pure muscle. As ever, impossible to try and hold up for the camera, but uh, yeah, not that big. Ooh, small fish on the pellet. Feeding for feeding hard four mil seems to be the way to go. Certainly picking out a few of the better fish. There's an awful lot of these skimmers around though. Could just get them to come shallow again. We might not be too bad. I think the weather's probably put pay to that a bit. I mean, there are fish shallow, as we've seen. We've had a couple. Getting a few rapid bites now. So classic F1 bites, really. Oh, that fish is on. It's a small fish though. Another skimmer. Slid away pretty much straight away. I'm just starting to up the feed a little bit now. Like 
peas in a pod, these skimmers. There we go. Oh, where's he going? <laughs> they are ridiculous, these fish. Just get up ahead of steam and tear off. He's picked up a branch down here. Yeah, we've got him. Well, I think that's the slipperiest F1 I've ever tried handling. I just couldn't pick him up at all. Fortunately, he's now unhooked himself in the net. Probably about three pounds. They're like bars of soap. Right, I've probably got an hour of fishing left. Um, I haven't fed the margin line at all, whether it's going to produce. I've not seen much doing down there, I've not really seen any reeds knocking. It's probably too cold for it today, but you never know. I'll pop a bit of bait on it. Apologies for any lens fog or blobs on the screen today guys, but it's really, really just quite impossible to try and keep the camera clean and fish as well. Still no getting away from these skimmers. And another skimmer.
I don't think this fish knows it's hooked. It feels quite heavy. But it hadn't fought at all. I've just come straight back with it. Let's see if we can pop it up. It's up now. Oh, it's inside, inside everywhere. Come on, come here. Woke up now, I thought it came in too easy. I don't want to come up. Don't know whether I've hooked him right or what. He's out. Don't think that can have been hooked right. Right, I'm just going to have a little look down this margin line. See if we can learn anything else about this place today. I don't think there's anything down here. Well, that's a sign on the margin. Float dipped under, but it came back up. Could just be a small fish. There we go, fish on shallow, ooh, good fish. Weather just calmed down a bit, came off the margin line, decided to go back on the shallow rig, just slapped in, didn't really feed anything extra in. That fish has come along and nailed it. So I think we've probably learnt what we're gonna learn today. If it was a bit warmer, I'm sure the margin would fish. It seems to me that some of these better fish come up shallow. So come match day, I'll be looking to catch shallow as much as possible, assuming the weather's okay. If you're willing to take shallow when it's like this. It's a good fish. Yeah, nice F1 that. That's best fish of the day.
Right, I'm not going to try and hold him up for the camera guys, but he's, uh, he's a lovely big fat F1. Probably knocking on best part of three and a half, four pound. Right, we've maybe got time for one last fish. I'm not going to feed in now, I'm just going to slap. There we go. So they're not on fire, but the method definitely works. Again, another decent fish. Nice F1 to finish. Right guys, well it hasn't been the easiest of days. Uh, the weather's been a bit of a challenge to say the least, but at least we've figured a few things out. Uh, we know that we can catch shallow, we know we can catch on hard pellet, and we know we can catch on the deck on hard pellet as well. So I think an alternation between those two methods and obviously using the pellet feeder and maybe the bomb and bread if it's really really hard but uh, pellet feeder with pellet on uh, hard pellet on the band again seem to be a good method just throwing out into the open water I think come match day I'll probably have a long line as well that I can fall back on with the pole and alternate between the sort of seven meter line that I fished today and maybe uh, even a, an 11 and a half or a 13 meter line uh, just to get a bit further out. I've seen a few fish topping a bit further out today, so uh, I should capitalise on that really. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Thanks for watching guys, and until the next one, tight lines.